Post Secret has been going on for 10 years now, and you'd think that I'd get bored with the project after going out to my mailbox that many times, day after day, week after week, month after month. But I can tell you that I usually go to my mailbox two or three times a day. I still get so excited, I check it before the mails even come. I still feel like a kid Christmas morning waking up to see the gifts that have arrived. I mean, this is wonderful mail coming into my mailbox every day. How can, how can you not like mail? These are letters that people have mailed over the years. Hundreds, maybe thousands of letters. I've had secrets arrive here from every continent. These are secrets just from France. All these secrets are in French. And we actually had people in the post-secret community help us translate these postcards. Again, hundreds, maybe thousands of postcards just from France. I'm always looking for secrets that hit me right in the gut, that have this, this original voice to them. And when I select them and lay them out, I try to arrange the secrets in such a way as they tell a story. So I'm looking for ways that the secrets connect and become not just an individual voice, but part of this conversation. This is when I brought out that the secret says, snorting Coke is my guilty pleasure. I think I might make it a habit. And I put the plastic bag around the postcard for obvious reasons. I'm afraid to tell my parents I'm depressed, but I need help. I've been secretly wearing lingerie for over 30 years. I want to be caught. Yes, I'm a male. Sometimes I pretend to use my phone when I see myself in a room full of strangers. The website in 10 years has had nearly a, a billion visits. I really try and be very regular and get the secrets up Saturday night around midnight consistently. It's a great chance to, to have a transition in the project. Up to, up to this point, all the secrets have been mailed to me anonymously and privately, but now I get a chance to scan them, curate them, and send them out to the world. And for me, it's, it's a powerful feeling that these, these living secrets can affect so many lives of people who think they're just looking at them alone, maybe privately on their screen, but they're really part of this much larger community. These are some of the emails I've received. I've received thousands of emails over the years. I don't think of Post Secret as being a sole voice sharing a secret on a postcard. I think of it as this, this wonderful dialogue between all of us. And through individual secrets, we can kind of see our full stories play out. So sometimes I get asked why I started the project and there's, I'm sure, a lot of reasons I'm aware of and some that I'm not. But I think one of the deepest reasons is I needed a place where I could share my secrets too. So I have written my secrets on postcards. I've mailed them to myself. There's one of my secrets in every post secret book. I think in some ways I am the right person for this project because I had struggles in my childhood and I, I, I had loss as well. And so when I read one of these difficult secrets, they don't depress me, they make me feel a connection to somebody else. They make me feel like, like there's a solidarity between all of us who had those private struggles and felt like we were suffering alone, but we never were. We never were. When you're asked to share a secret about yourself, something that no one else knows, something that you might just be writing down for the first time, I think that very act can challenge you to, in a sense, come out to yourself about whatever it might be. Maybe you say it first on a postcard and then you say it next to a friend. I hope that people feel a sense of relief when they let those go. For me, one of the most beautiful parts of the project is the beauty of the postcards themselves, the artwork that the people expose on the cards in the same way they expose their secret. In fact, sometimes I feel like some secrets are so difficult to share, to get out there, you don't even want to say it out loud. You barely want to write it on a postcard. And sometimes people will seem to use art just as much as the words to be able to convey a secret without actually writing down the text.
In addition to all the postcards that are mailed to my home, I also get objects through the mail, amazing objects. This is a really hopeful one right here. It was sent to me on a balloon and it says, when we decided to keep you, your life wasn't the only one saved. I also get a lot of clothing with secrets. I've had secrets mailed to me on flip-flops, socks, underwear, a bra, a shirt, a coat, a purse. And I think there's something symbolic about how we, we can use our secrets to cover our nakedness. This is an apothecary cabinet that I bought not long ago to help sort some of the postcards. You can see I keep postcards in these little drawers. This piece is about 100 years old, and originally it was used in China to keep healing medications in these drawers. And I wish you could be here, because if you get close and smell, you can smell the odors of the herbs and the aroma. Seeing so many of these secrets, you start to get a feel for what people are really carrying in their heart, what their burdens are. And ultimately, I think the largest number of secrets I get are not about damaging somebody's car or not telling your parents about something you did at school or hiding something from a spouse. Really, so many of the secrets are about the search for intimacy, trying to find that, that one man or that one woman who you can let your guard down with, who you can be your full and true and, and whole self with who you don't have to keep any secrets from. I've read every single one of these postcards. They each come individually from all over the world. They, they come to my mailbox and they come here together. It's almost like a, a living, breathing thing. And it sounds funny, but it's true. After weeks and months pass, this mountain, this pyramid will begin to shift and I'll have to rebuild it in ways that make me think that these aren't just dead secrets, but, but living stories. I feel like there's something about Post Secret that people get that's just kind of positive and self-affirming. And so again and again, it seems like people support me and support the project in ways that reward how vulnerable I've made my, my life and, and my, my family by having our home address exposed on the web all over. And I don't have a favorite, but one I carry with me all the time was written on a dollar bill. It says we're all part of something bigger and we're all part of it together. I think it's an illusion that we're ever really alone with our secrets. I think if we can find the courage and the vulnerability to share them, we discover that we're all part of this much larger story.